Hey Gemma, have you thought about ants lately? No. Uh, me no, neither. No, I've been no. thinking, sitting under this tree for a little while, mm. and been thinking about how did it get so big? I wonder. Well, I've been doing some thinking and a little bit of Googling. Um, the soil yeah. has a whole bunch of nutrients that now is fueling this amazing tree. Yeah, wow. And the fact that like God made that all on purpose totally. and like his attention to detail. Yeah. Wow. Well, do you know what? We're going to hear a little bit more about it. Mm. Oh yeah, I do have some friends that could tell us about that. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Hi kids, my name is Ziggy and this is Twizzle and we have a great big story to tell you. Wait a minute, who is Twizzle and who is Ziggy? Well, you're Twizzle and I'm Ziggy. It's my stage name. Oh boy. Anyway, this story happened a very long, 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 long time ago. In the beginning. That's a bit dramatic. Well, it is a dramatic story. The very first one. In the beginning. God created the heavens and the earth. Everything was dark. Hey, who turned out the lights? He can't read in the dark. It's okay. I know this next part. And God said, let there be light. And then there was day and night. On day two, God created the water and the sky. And then on day three, God created land and plants. On day four, God created the sun, moon and stars. Ooh, pretty. On day five, God created the fish and the birds. Then on day six, God created animals. Everything God made was perfect, but his most favorite creation of all was also on day six, people. God created Adam and Eve in his own image, which means to look like him. God created the world and everything in it because he loves us so very much. Because God loves us, he gave us the ability to make choices. This means simple things like choosing what job we want to do when we're older or choosing what to have for dinner. But it also means that we have the ability to make the wrong choice. Adam and Eve made a choice that had big consequences. They were tricked, but they chose to eat from the one tree that God had asked them not to. It was called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. This choice brought sin into the world and meant they could no longer be close to God. Sin is anything that we do that is not God's way or not part of God's plan. Sin separates us from God. God had asked Adam and Eve not to eat the fruit to protect them, but they chose to ignore God and thought they knew better. Thankfully, this is only the beginning of the story. God had a big plan to save us so that we can be close to him again. Round of applause! So good, so good. God made the starfish, the giraffes, the lions. All the lions, and, and he even made you and me. He did. Kids, you should go out there and see if you can find maybe like a ladybug. Ooh, ooh. Um, how about those like crazy grasshoppers? Yeah, the yeah. ones that jump really high. Um, or even, or even like a cat. Yeah. And dog, invite back home and give it like some food. Maybe you'll spot a giraffe.